Okay, so Jack has a point here. Many countries have eliminated their lowest denomination currency, but the circumstances of these decisions vary widely. Both Australia and New Zealand eliminated one and two cent coins in the early 90s, and New Zealand followed up by removing the five cent coin in 2006, requiring more complicated coinage reform than we're currently talking about in the U.S. But what about Canada? Our neighbors to the north minted their last one cent coin in 2012. The Canadian federal government had made clear its uh, intention to, to find areas of, of spending that were inefficient and wasteful. And from that, um, the Canadian Senate created a standing committee um, on national finance to, to look more deeply into the issue of removing the penny. We uh, in Canada were producing about a billion pennies a year. Uh, it was costing us 1.6 cents to make a penny. Uh, so you weren't making up on volume, you were losing with every penny you produced. So it costs us about 10, 11 million dollars a year in losses to produce the penny. We were paid for uh, the pennies, the mint was, by the Department of Finance. But the Department of Finance was, in a sense, wasting 11 million dollars. So the first issue was, did it make economic sense? The answer to that question was no. It's not only because the penny costs more than its base value. The main reason for me is that the consumer decide not to use it enough. Okay? And what they were doing, they were receiving pennies at a cash register, and they came home and put them in buckets. And when you start to do this, you, min you have to produce even more coins because they don't return to the system. And at a point of time, it become inefficient. Pennies are, are pretty small, uh, and they're light one by one. But if you have a billion of them, they're very heavy. Uh, they, they, each penny has to be a part of a roll. All has to be wrapped. All has to be packaged. All has to be handled with, uh, with care and protection by, by uh, armored car carriers. So it's, the distribution costs become uh, significant as well. The presses that are used to make a penny are the same presses that are used to make a quarter, and they take up the same energy and uh, human resources to, to make these coins. So all of those prices were going up. The value of the penny wasn't going to change. It was still going to be worth a penny. <laughs>